Hey everyone, uh, today in this video we will cover the functionality of a file segment. So this uh, video will help you to understand uh, what exactly is a file segment and how do you create a file segment. Uh, so firstly let's understand what exactly is a file segment and just to provide you a background story about uh, to, to start with. Uh, so a lot of uh, growth teams uh, often perform uh, a lot of analysis at their end on the users and the user data and post this analysis uh, they would want to uh, import those users in MoEngage to use our capabilities of uh, different campaigns that we have that, you, that can be sent using MoEngage and also the advanced analytics uh, capabilities that we have uh, to do further analysis on this. So uh, to import those users in MoEngage, uh, this needs to be imported as a file uh, either I mean uh, through CSV or it can be also uploaded uh, by providing a, a URL which should be public. So uh, that is a short brief about uh, about, about uh, file segment. Uh, now we can move to uh, uh, move to see how, how do we create a uh, file segment. Uh, so once you click all segments and in this page uh, when you select uh, this plus segment icon uh, you need to cl uh, click on this file segment button. Uh, so you need to you can, you can provide a, a name as per I mean naming convention as per your wish. So for just example, I am putting as a test January. Similarly, I am putting description of the same. Uh, now you need to provide a source uh, to upload the file. Uh, the source could be either a, a CSV or it can be an URL. So in case you have done any analysis uh, at your end and you have the uh, file in your computer by clicking this uh, upload from computer uh, uh, button you would be uh, you can uh, basically add uh, this file uh, so this will be considered as a source to create a file segment uh, the next thing is to uh, provide a uh, user attribute which should uh, uniquely identify uh, uh, the users in this file as a single user so if for example if I uh, if I choose email uh, for an example uh, as a user attribute, you can consider different. Uh, you can you can uh, provide different uh, attributes uh, apart from email ID. So for just for an example, I am uh, using email. You can use first name, gender, ID, last name, country, language, uh, whatever is uh, relevant in your case. So uh, so essentially, why this uh, step is important in, in the process of creating a file segment? Uh, so. Uh, so the provided user attribute uh, it should uh, uniquely identify uh, user as a single user uh, if the attribute uh, value if, if it is uh, if, if it is mapped to multiple users then uh, then it will block uh, other users from uh, being included in the segment so that is the reason why uh, why why the uh, attribute should uniquely identify a single user so below uh, you can so below field is basically to alert yourself or uh, or your team member about uh, the file segment being processed so that you know that the file segment has been processed in case you want to use it uh, in campaigns or analytics so one thing to uh, uh, you know make sure once you uh, when you are creating a file segment uh, it is uh, that the the users that you are uploading uh, through any of the uh, source those users should be already present in moengage in case uh, you are uploading uh, or, or if this file has any users which are not already present in Moengage, so while creating a file segment those users uh, would be skipped. Only those users would be considered in the file segment which are already present in Moengage. So let's create uh, this file segment. Right. So now this uh, file segment is successfully created. Uh, so moving on to the another functionality, uh, how do you uh, edit the uh, the existing uh, file segment which you might have created? So uh, using this drop down you can uh, select file uh, so that all the file segments are visible and uh, in case you want to edit it in the uh, three dot menu you can take an action called edit. Now there are three actions that you can take. Uh, uh, to uh, edit the file segment either you can add the users to the existing file segment uh, you can remove the users from file segment if you don't want it anymore or you can replace all the existing uh, uh, users in the file segment if you want to replace them with all the new, new set of users uh, so let's say if I consider adding some users so you need to uh, uh, 
uh, do the all the similar steps that you did to create a file segment. Uh, the steps remain the same. You need to provide a source, uh, be it a file segment or a URL. So in case of URL, uh, these are the certain conditions that needs to be satisfied. Uh, so in case any one of the cases, I mean condition is not satisfied, the segment file segment won't be processed. Uh, so first condition is that uh, it, I mean the URL should start with HTTPS. Uh, the URL should be public. I mean, it should be downloaded without uh, any VPN, and the size of this uh, CSV should not exi exceed 300 MB. So, in case any of this condition is not satisfied, the file segment will be processed. And the, and and uh, below are the similar steps. You need to provide a, a user attribute which uniquely identifies a single user, and you can provide. Uh, a person to alert once the uh, users are being added. So similar steps needs to be done for, done for uh, remove users and replace users. So uh, the, so th this was uh, this was these were the functionalities of uh, file segment. Yeah, thank you.